Hello differential equation students and welcome back again this is unit 5 this is video number 3 and we are still in section 6.1 and we're going to be rewriting uh, summations again uh, of some power series this time I want to do a, a single series right single power series and I still want this like x sub k thing which is what we did last time okay so we're going to continue kind of that um that method or that practice session really in of course, right now you don't understand why this is useful, but come 6.2, this is going to be very, very, very important. So here, uh, I think it's helpful to actually name these since I have like two of them. Like let's name this one one and this one two. You can name it A and B. It won't matter. Okay. And I have this first one and I need it X sub K, right? So because each one has a different index down here I have a 1 and then I have a 0 it's wise to do k's for each one so like my k here would be n minus 1 and then my n would equal k plus 1 right for number 2 I would have k equal to n plus 2 and my n then would equal k minus 2 of course how am I getting that well it's just these up top right Set them equal to that. Okay. So if I were going to plug them in now, right? If I was going to go ahead and plug them in like I did before, I have the summation. I hate that one is that thing. Of k equals, so let's think here. If I put my k in there, right? K is equal to n minus one. So if I put k plus one here, oh k would equal zero right then I would have n is k plus 1 c is k plus 1 down here and then I have x to the k right now that's just for number 1 plus then I have 3 times the summation of well now be careful here n is equal to k minus 2 so if I put k minus 2 here and add it across that would be k equals 2 to infinity of c sub k minus 2 x to the k power right now we have them in terms of this x to the k but we do not have a single power series right now if we're going to write them right if we're going to try to combine them and put them together we, we run into issues if the indices don't match, right? And they don't match. Um, we have to make them match. Right now, I got a k equals 0 and a k equals 2, right? This one was for 1, this one's for 2. And here's the trick, right? I can't I knock this k equals 2 down. Like k can't take on one it can't okay we're saying that it can go from two to infinity k can't take on one so i can't get two down to zero can i get zero up till two well yeah and we can it's really easy we manually calculate well what would we have to calculate we'd have to calculate the k equals zero and k equals one terms right because if I did those two then I would push this into C to a two and then because this is a summation I just add it on okay I just add it on so like what would be the zeroth term right so this is k equals zero right now like what would that be well it's zero plus one C to the zero plus one x to the well zero right doing a little bit of simplification I would get well this is a one right I'd have a one there and this is c sub one this it turns into a one so really I mean this is what one times c sub one x to the zero which we know is one right so oh this is just c sub one Okay, well, what about the first thing, right? Which would be the k equals 1. Okay, well, that would be a 1 plus 1. 
a c sub 1 plus 1, then an x to the first. Again, simplify it. That's 2 c sub 2 x. Now, these are the first two, right? So these are added because of the summation here, right? And then what would be next after that? Well, I would have to add the rest of them. What's left in that series? Well, I would have k equals, now I it only takes on 2 to infinity of k plus 1, c sub k plus 1, x to the k, right? Now this whole thing right here, right, it is 1. It's still number 1. But what's super cool about what we just did, right, I hope you can see it, is that now this k equals 2 matches this k equals 2, okay? It matches it up, and because they match, well, here, let's write this out first. So I have c sub 1 plus 2 c sub 2 x plus summation of k equals 2 to infinity of k plus 1 c sub k plus 1 x to the k. Then that was all of 1. Well, then I have to add in this 3. k was 2 to infinity. Where am I getting this? Of course, I'm getting it from up here, right? That's number 2 here. It's c sub k. It's a terrible k. Minus 2. x to the k. Okay. Now, I know what you're probably thinking is, well, how much good have you really done because I still have two different series but what is great now is I have my indexes I, my indices are matching and because they're matching now I should be able to like essentially add them so when we're doing this we still have the c sub 1 plus 2 c sub 2 x now I have plus some big k equals 2 to infinity. Now in here, we're adding these terms, right? So when k is equal to 2, what would we do? Well, we would find this thing, right? We'd find this thing, and then we would find this one. Oh, so really, we find this one and this one, and we would add in between. Now, this 3 kind of like gets distributed here, so hopefully this isn't too much for you, but it's k plus 1, c sub k plus 1, x to the k plus right this thing here 3 times c sub k minus 2 x to the k okay and this is very common to write it like this um it's actually usually not written quite just this simple um usually we actually go and we try to take out this x sub k which I can do really, really, really easily here. Um, it's actually usually written as all of that inside here times x to the k because they both have them. So this one, of course, gets factored out over here. And it's very commonly written like that right there. And that completes uh, the third video over 6.1. I am going to do one more problem just like this one here where we have to add a couple different summations and make them into one, okay, one power series. So tune in to the next video.